In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can take the outline of a person in your video and turn it into a silhouette that you use for emphasis. Please look at the following short example, and then I'll show you a bit about constructing this yourself. So what I have on track number one is a video of this woman in some distress. And so I'm going to use that as an emotional cue to pull the people into the product I'm going to sell. So what I have on track one is my video. And on the other tracks, on two, I have titles. On three, two, I also have audio. And then I have an image on track number three. Now you've noticed I've locked all these tracks and made them invisible. So we're going to focus on track number one, which is the video. So I need to move to the frame where I want to begin to introduce something once people have understood the emotion of the moment. I have a timeline marker where I set for that. I'll click there and that will move my playhead to that location. Now I need to do a freeze frame of that particular frame. So I'll do control, hold that down and press the P key. And now I have a place where I can give it a name. I'm just going to type in the number seven. Doesn't really matter. This will be my image. I also at the same frame want to split this only the video. So I'll do control T and we'll split it there and I'll remove the last part and we'll take our image and fill the screen with that for the duration of our clip. So we move from this contemplative area in the previous section in the video to the freeze frame and that's the one we're going to create the silhouette on. So to do that I simply highlight the graphic image I created a few moments ago and then I click on the edit button. Now we're in the new interface as of April 2023 and I'm going to use the mask designer under the image tab and that will open my mask designer. Now the, I find the easiest way to create a mask in this situation would be to use the third icon from the left, the custom painted mask with brush. I'll click on that. We'll open up that window. I can see my transparency paper. I can make it lighter or darker. And then I can simply draw. I'm going to make this larger. And so I would just essentially do a mask where I try in a very simple way to outline this young woman who is my subject. And we'll do something pretty simple here. And I over overshot it here. Again, you probably want to be a lot more precise than I was but this just gives you an, a, a view of what it might look like. I'll click here and we'll capture her shoulder again. So that's a very simple way of looking at it. Let's see. Remove everything inside. Looks pretty good. And then I'll click on OK. So now I have a mask. I want to click on Invert Mask on the left side. So now she is the mask. I'll click on OK. So now I have my mask. So when I move from the image to the mask, I'm clicking here and she's contemplating and she's thinking and all of a sudden we want this to be you. You put yourself into this particular frame. Now what I'm going to do before we do that is I'm going to take everything else I've worked on so far and I'll make it visible because I'll talk you through how we did the rest of it really briefly. We have the woman thinking about her dilemma. And so we start out with a text that says, what do you do? So it draws you into her dilemma. And then we identify the dilemma when your dog is missing. And then we have our action. Don't be the next one to find out. And this is where you put yourself in her shoes. And then when we play the rest of it, we pop in our logo, we pop in our web location, and then we have an action step. So that's a little bit about how we can construct something like this 
by using that silhouette technique to draw the viewer into the issue so we can help them realize they need our product.